Previously on Turtle Crossing, we took a family camping trip and explored the Carolinian Trail, but brought home more than memories. The next weekend, we took a day trip to Burlington Beach. With wind at our stern, a reefed main, and no foresail up, we were cruising toward our destination at a very smooth five knots. It was the most perfect day for a sail, and almost everything went smoothly. Hey, my name is Sarah, and this is my husband, Christopher. Join us as we begin the adventure of a lifetime with our son, William, aboard our floating home, Mr. Turtle. Will you drive in? Let's just go down and walk around aimlessly. Nobody ever helps us in here. <laughs> so we need a bottom mounted one. Uh, 22 with the side mount. Ooh, you can have a light on your slide. You That's pretty it? cool. No, it's still cool though. It's still cool. Okay, so that one closes real like fast, yeah, right? It slams. This is where we want the concealed mount. Okay. Which probably isn't as strong, but it's what we need so that we don't waste uh, room on the. They seem pretty heavy duty. Yeah, it'll be fine. We needed a specific part from our local hardware store in order to begin work on a project that would create more storage on Mr. Turtle. But more on this in a later episode. Okay, and how much? <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, it's the 22 inch. Uh, we have 23 inches, but I think they don't make the 23 inch, so let's do the 22. Sounds good. You ready to drive well? Gotta turn around and drive. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Can I help? Uh, I need the wheel. Can you pass me that wheel? Thank you. Me. Me. Don't go into that. Yeah, we made a car. Me. What's this? One more sticker? Home Depot. You want that on the back? A car. A car. A car. Come look at this new car. A car. A car. Did you make that with that? That's actually kind of cool. I thought it was going to be kind of garbage. That's really cool, buddy. Did you make a car with that? Uh? So we have our first aid kit out today. Christopher had poison ivy as you guys saw. Um, it's been over a week now and he is absolutely suffering. We tried some calamine lotion again after we've been doing, uh, we've been spraying with apple cider vinegar and he's also been scratching which he shouldn't be doing but he can't stop. If viewer discretion is advised, if you are queasy at things that are gross, please do not look. Um, if you're curious about a gigantic blister, then you should watch this next segment. So <laughs> he has a giant blister, poison ivy blister on his toe and we've tried some calamine lotion to get rid of it. He has to put his feet in his work boots tomorrow. Uh, so this just can't, this just can't be here anymore. Enter safety pin. Uh, so this is, hey, William, are you getting snacks? Yeah. Yeah. It's getting snacks to watch the show. So I'm going to disinfect this with some alcohol first. This is our uh, first aid kit that my mom got me. Yeah, thank you. This is going to be nasty. You know what? I am so squeamish. Like, yeah, you can't touch that, buddy. That's for Dada. Yeah. Yep. So everything you read says to do it at the base of the blister, not at the top of the blister. Yeah. Makes sense. And then we'll probably need to bandage it. Oh my sharp needle. 
Maybe he's just being a chicken about it. Push. Does it hurt? There you go. You're gonna have to do more than that, probably. I'm gonna need a toe tuck after this. All this loose skin. Oh mm, my god. You gonna go into the woods again, ever? No, I said I didn't want to go camping. I told ya. I'm a boater now. No poison ivy on the sea. He loves trees and he loves camping. That's Just so nice. being a sourpuss. That would be too. I'm racing tonight without Christopher. Uh, he His poison ivy is too bad, so I'm on my way to meet with the other people from rehab. And uh, the wind is pretty perfect. I'm just exhausted, but I'm excited. When you talk to any old sailor, they'll usually tell you the same thing. If you want to get lots of experience sailing, you should be racing. So Chris and I have been racing for several months on a boat called Rehab. The owners, Joan and Chris, have been amazing and took us on as crew, even with the little experience we had to start with. Not moving very fast, but we're moving. Poor Christopher is over there being itchy. Hello, itchy Chris. Joan's upset with me because I have bare feet. She's always upset with me. Because you have bare feet. Because <laughs> I always have bare feet. <laughs> They're so calloused, it's like wearing shoes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you're right. I did actually step on something sharp. No, I did step on something sharp when I was doing that, and I was like, oh, I hope I didn't cut myself and prove Joan right. <laughs> so because we are not very fast in light air, we have all the big boats coming around the mark with us right now. Joan and Chris are very excited about this. I am too, as long as we don't get hit. Hey. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't even say anything yet. <laughs> yet being the operative word. Today we got our replacement Rachna. Uh, this is the original, not the Vulcan. So Sarah is racing tonight, but because I'm so mangled from my poison ivies. I'm going to stay back here and maybe put this anchor on the, the bowsprit. The first Rockna anchor we purchased was called the Vulcan and it didn't sit very well on our bowsprit. We decided to ship it back and purchase the less expensive original but sadly had to pay a restocking fee.
last one did. Uh, still not perfect but I think we can make it work. Uh, it still wants to, to fall down a little bit. Right now I have it on the, the windlass but I don't think that's good for the windlass to have weight on it and jerking all the time. Like It, it will balance on its own but just barely. It would be nice if we had it just a little bit closer. In the future I think maybe these uh, either replace this roller with one that lines up or take these off and modify it so that uh, the, the holes here line up with this hole here and that way uh, you would crank it up like it's cranked up now and then just slide in a, a dowel pin and that would take the weight so that there's nothing on the actual windlass. Sarah's out racing she will probably be real happy to see that her anchor is on when she gets home. The race was over. We didn't win, but at least we finished. Rehab does better and stronger wins. Time to head back and check on Christopher. You're <laughs> meek. <laughs> On your yacht? You can't see shit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, sir. You're a chef. Gallon chef. Good night, everybody else. <laughs>